I saw someone ask this in the Squarespace forums the other day, and it was, how do I round the corners of my header on my website? And I get it, this can look quite cool. You can either round every corner, so it's like a pill shape, or you can round the top two or the bottom two, whatever you wanna do. And it's just a really interesting bit of design. Luckily, this is really, really easy to do. Now, Squarespace has been rolling out tons of updates to the header section, but this is one thing they haven't added in just yet. So what we need to do for now is add a little bit of code and then we're all set. First things first, we won't be able to see the border radius of the header if it's not a solid color. So make sure it's gonna be a solid color or you have a dynamic header on. So when the user scrolls, it becomes a solid color. Then what we wanna do is go into our custom CSS and there we go. We wanna add in header so we'll target our header and then border radius so we want to specify what we want the border radius to be i've got it set to zero px at the moment so it's just straight then we want to make sure that the overflow is hidden so let me just get rid of this and you'll see why that's important in a moment so if we change the border radius let's make it 50 px you can see that we have this pill shape now just as a side note if you wanted this pill shape to be like a floating header, all you have to do is add margin and something like 15 px. And then you can see it's like a, a floating pill shape almost. But we'll get rid of that for now. Now, if we were to get rid of overflow, you can see the code doesn't work because the header expands beyond the margins of the page. So we'll keep overflowing and then if we want to have specifically rounded edges, we don't want all the edges rounded because let's be honest, this looks a little bit weird. What we need to do is specify the pixel value for each corner. So that's why we need to do 50px, 50px, 50px. Then we'll start by knocking this off and then we'll knock this off. And you can see it's got this half rounded shape now, which is what I envision the people who were querying this on the forums were actually after. So this is what it looks like. I think personally, I think this looks a lot better than everything being rounded. And we can also make it way more rounded if we want. So we have complete control of every corner. Like if you wanted this to be way more rounded than this for some reason, then you could. But on the other hand, we can turn it down so it's a little bit more low key. So let's, maybe that's a little bit too little. So we'll do 20 and 20. And then I've got a border on the bottom of this, so it doesn't look great. Let me take that off, actually. We're going to edit the header. We'll take that border off. Much better. So now when we blow it up, you can see it looks a lot cleaner now. And I actually think this is a really nice little style cue to add to a website, especially if you're going to do a theme where you have rounded corners on the buttons, say, and then your images and videos are rounded on the edges. Definitely something that I think would play well into that sort of style on a site. So the code essentially looks like this. You target the header, border radius, and then you can specify your pixel values for each corner of the header. Make sure the overflow is hidden because as we see, it doesn't work if, if that's not in there. And if you wanted it to be a floating header, you can put a margin in there which specifies a margin all around the header. Uh, let's just say 20 pixels. And you can see that's what we get. So bonus tip, if you want a floating header, that's how you do that as well. And if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.